Have you ever wondered how you can contribute to the environment while also improving your garden? The answer is simpler than you think, and it lies in the magic of composting. This age-old practice not only breathes new life into your garden, but it also plays a pivotal role in reducing waste. Imagine transforming kitchen scraps, lawn clippings, and even old newspapers into a rich, fertile soil amendment that your plants will absolutely love. But the benefits of composting extend far beyond your backyard. By composting, you're actively reducing the amount of waste that ends up in our landfills, contributing to a healthier, more sustainable environment. It's a simple, yet powerful act of stewardship, one that underlines our connection to the earth and the cycle of life. So why not step into the world of composting today? It's an easy, rewarding practice that benefits not just your garden, but the entire planet as well. So what exactly is composting and how does it work? Let's dive into this fascinating process. Composting, in its simplest form, is the transformation of organic matter into nutrient-rich soil. It's a natural process that happens all around us, in forests, fields, and even your backyard. When leaves fall from trees or plants die, they slowly decompose and return their nutrients back to the earth. This process is nature's way of recycling, ensuring that nothing goes to waste. But how does this transformation occur? It all comes down to the tireless work of microorganisms. These tiny creatures, which include bacteria, fungi, and even insects, break down organic matter into its basic components. They consume the organic material and in return produce nutrient-rich compost, also known as humus. But composting isn't just about throwing your kitchen scraps into a pile and waiting for nature to do its thing. It's a bit more involved than that. A successful compost pile requires a balanced mix of greens and browns. Greens are materials rich in nitrogen, like vegetable scraps, coffee grounds and fresh grass clippings. Browns, on the other hand, are carbon-rich materials such as dried leaves, straw and cardboard. When you get the balance right, these materials provide the perfect dinner plate for our microbial friends. The greens provide them with the protein they need to grow and reproduce, while the browns give them the energy they need to do their work. It's also important to turn your compost pile regularly. This helps to aerate the pile, providing the oxygen that the microorganisms need to survive. Without oxygen, the composting process can slow down or even produce a bad smell, and that's the basics of composting. It's an amazing process that not only reduces waste, but also creates a valuable resource. So the next time you're about to throw away your kitchen scraps, think about how they could be put to better use. In essence, composting is nature's way of recycling. Ever questioned why composting is better than synthetic fertilizers? Let's dive into the comparison, shall we? Synthetic fertilizers, at first glance, may seem like the easy choice. They promise quick, lush growth, and they deliver. But here's the catch. Synthetic fertilizers are like junk food for your plants. Yes, they give a quick energy burst, but they lack the essential nutrients and microorganisms that plants need for long-term health. Composting, on the other hand, is like a well-balanced home-cooked meal for your soil. It's rich in nutrients, beneficial bacteria and fungi that help plants thrive naturally. Compost improves the soil structure, making it easier for roots to grow and access nutrients. It increases the soil's water holding capacity, reducing the need for frequent watering. And it buffers the soil, helping plants absorb the right amount of nutrients and preventing nutrient burn, a common problem with synthetic fertilizers. But that's not all. Composting has environmental benefits that synthetic fertilizers just can't match. Composting reduces waste, turning kitchen scraps and yard waste into a valuable resource. This practice helps break the cycle of waste, reducing the volume that ends up in our landfills. Synthetic fertilizers, on the other hand, are often made from non-renewable resources, and their production and use contribute to pollution. Runoff from synthetic fertilizers can contaminate waterways, causing harmful algal blooms that deplete oxygen in the water and harm aquatic life. Composting also helps fight climate change. It sequesters carbon in the soil, reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And let's not forget, composting is a sustainable practice that can be done at any scale, from small apartment dwellers to large agricultural operations. In contrast, synthetic fertilizers, with their high energy inputs and environmental impacts, are far from sustainable. Plus, they do nothing to improve the long-term health and fertility of the soil. 
Composting, therefore, is not just a choice, but a responsibility towards our environment. It's a simple and effective way to nourish your plants, improve your soil, reduce waste, and fight climate change. Now, isn't that something worth digging into? Wondering what goes into making compost? Well, let's delve into the culinary world of composting, where the recipe is as important as the chef. Firstly, we have our greens. These are the nitrogen-rich ingredients. Think of lush kitchen waste like vegetable peelings, fruit scraps, coffee grounds, and tea bags. They're the catalysts, sparking the decomposition process into high gear. Next, we have our browns. These are the carbon-rich ingredients. Dead leaves, straw, wood chips, and even cardboard make up this category. Browns provide the bulk and structure to the compost pile, ensuring good airflow. Now let's talk about the secret ingredient, manure. It's rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the three primary nutrients plants crave. Horse, cow, and chicken manure are commonly used, but remember, it should be well rotted or aged. Fresh manure can burn your plants and could contain harmful pathogens. Then there's mulch, a layer of organic material applied to the top of the soil. It's not an essential ingredient, but it aids in retaining moisture, suppressing weeds, and slowly contributing nutrients to the compost as it breaks down. And let's not forget the humble worm. Worms, specifically red wigglers and earthworms, are the unsung heroes of composting. They munch through organic matter, breaking it down into nutrient-rich castings. This process is called vermicomposting. It's like composting, but with a wriggly twist. Water and air, the often overlooked ingredients, play crucial roles too. Compost needs moisture to facilitate decomposition, but be cautious. Too much water can suffocate your pile. As for air, turning your compost pile regularly helps aerate it, speeding up decomposition and preventing unpleasant odors. In essence, composting is a balancing act, a mix of greens and browns, wet and dry, oxygen and decomposition, all working in harmony. Getting the balance right might take some trial and error, but once you nail it, the rewards are bountiful. Remember, composting is like cooking. The right ingredients make all the difference. So, don your gardening gloves and fire up that compost pile. Did you know that worms and mushrooms can be your best friends when it comes to composting? Worms, particularly certain species like the red wiggler, are excellent composters. They feast on organic waste, breaking it down into nutrient-rich worm castings, a process known as vermicomposting. These castings, essentially worm poop, are a veritable goldmine for your garden, providing a wealth of essential nutrients that plants need to thrive. But why are worms so good at this? Well, they have a unique digestive system that allows them to extract nutrients from organic waste that other creatures can't. As they munch through your compost heap, they're not just eating, they're also aerating the pile, which helps speed up the composting process. Plus, they reproduce quickly. So once you've got a few, you'll soon have a whole army of little composters working for you. But let's not forget about the humble mushroom. While not as visible or as celebrated as worms, mushrooms, and particularly their underground network of mycelium, play a vital role in composting. Mycelium is like the internet of the soil, connecting different plants and helping them communicate and share resources. In the context of composting, mushrooms help break down tough organic material that worms can't handle. They secrete enzymes that decompose lignin, a hardy compound found in wood and straw. This decomposition process creates a rich, crumbly compost that's fantastic for improving soil structure and fertility. Mushrooms also play a crucial role in nutrient cycling. They can unlock nutrients from organic material and make them available to plants. This symbiotic relationship between plants and mushrooms is a beautiful example of nature's interconnectedness and efficiency. Both worms and mushrooms are nature's recyclers, turning waste into wealth. They are the unsung heroes of the composting world, working tirelessly beneath the surface to transform your kitchen scraps and garden waste into black gold for your garden. So, next time you're turning your compost heap or digging in your garden, spare a thought for these hard-working creatures. Indeed, worms and mushrooms are the unsung heroes of composting. Curious about how long it takes to make compost? Well, the timeline for composting can vary as widely as the ingredients you toss into your compost heap. In essence, composting is nature's method of recycling, and like nature, it takes its own sweet time. Typically, composting can take anywhere from two months to two years, depending on a variety of factors. The size of your compost heap, the materials you're composting, the ratio of green to brown materials, 
the level of maintenance and the weather conditions all play a part in the speed of the composting process. Let's break it down a bit. When it comes to size, a larger compost pile heats up more effectively and decomposes faster. If your compost heap is too small, it may not heat up enough to break down the materials. On the other hand, if it's too large, the center might not get enough oxygen. The materials you're composting also matter. Some materials, like fruit and vegetable scraps, break down quickly. Others, such as branches, leaves and straw, take longer. The trick is to chop or shred larger materials to help speed up the process. The ratio of green to brown materials is crucial. Green materials like vegetable scraps and grass clippings are rich in nitrogen, while brown materials such as leaves and straw are high in carbon. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a ratio of one part green to two parts brown. Maintenance too plays a role. Regularly turning your compost pile introduces oxygen, which helps the microorganisms break down the materials. If you leave your compost pile alone, the process will still happen, but it will take longer. Finally, weather conditions can impact the composting process. Composting is faster in warm, moist conditions, as these are ideal for the microorganisms that do the work. So, if you've been wondering why your compost pile isn't ready yet, keep in mind that composting is more of a marathon than a sprint. Patience, they say, is a virtue, and composting is no exception. Ever considered how composting fits into a self-sufficient lifestyle? Composting, friends, isn't just about turning kitchen scraps into nutrient-rich soil. It's more than just an eco-friendly alternative to synthetic fertilizers. It's a profound symbol of self-sufficiency, a testament to the power of nature, and a nod to our innate ability to provide for ourselves. Imagine being able to generate your own soil, rich and teeming with life, right in your backyard. Picture the direct line of sustenance from your kitchen to your garden, then back to your kitchen again in the form of fresh, organic produce. That's the circular beauty of composting. It's a cycle that nurtures not just your plants, but your soul as well. Now think about the power that comes from being in control of your own food supply. You're not just growing your own food, but you're also creating the very soil that nourishes it. It's an act of independence that transcends the simple act of gardening. It's about reclaiming your power, your control over what you consume and how it's produced. Composting is a practice steeped in self-sufficiency, a practice that brings you closer to the earth and to the roots of sustainable living. It's like holding a piece of nature's magic right in your hands, a piece that you've helped create. And the best part? It's not rocket science. It's a simple, easy practice that everyone can adopt. It doesn't matter if you live on a sprawling farm or in a small city apartment. Composting is possible for everyone, and it's a practice that can truly revolutionize the way we view waste and resource management. So let's embrace this cycle of life, this beautiful loop of growth and decay. Let's step away from the landfill and step towards a greener, healthier, and more self-sufficient lifestyle. Remember, every time you compost, you're not just feeding your plants. You're nourishing your independence, your resilience, and your connection with the earth. Composting truly is a step towards a self-sufficient lifestyle. So, are you ready to embark on your composting journey? The path to self-sufficiency and a healthier planet is closer than you think, and it begins in your own backyard. It's about turning what you'd normally discard into a treasure that enriches the earth. It's about composting. From the magic of composting to the basics, we've covered a lot of ground. We've delved into why compost trumps synthetic fertilizers, the ingredients that make a good compost pile, and the integral role of worms and mushrooms. We've even touched on the time factor involved in composting. And through it all, one thing is clear. Composting is a simple yet powerful tool for every homesteader. Whether you're an urban dweller with a small balcony garden or a rural homesteader with acres of land, composting is for you. It's a sustainable practice that not only reduces waste, but also replenishes the soil, creating a nutrient-rich haven for your plants to thrive in. But remember, it doesn't have to be a solitary journey. Support your local composting initiatives, engage with your community, and together you can make a bigger impact. After all, composting is not just about the soil, it's about the people and the collective effort to nurture our planet. So let's recap the key points about composting. It's a process that transforms organic waste into nutrient-rich soil. It's better than synthetic fertilizers because it's natural, sustainable, and it enriches the soil's fertility. It involves ingredients like green waste, brown waste, and manure. 
and it benefits from the addition of worms and mushrooms. And most importantly, it's a practice that anyone can adopt, regardless of the size of their garden. As you embark on this journey, remember that patience is key. Composting is a slow, natural process, but the rewards are worth the wait. You'll be creating a sustainable loop where nothing goes to waste, contributing to a greener, cleaner environment. Remember, every small step towards composting is a giant leap for a greener planet.